Hey guys, how we doing? Uh, welcome, thanks for coming and uh, thanks for your bids and stuff. Uh, we've got these uh, 10 Bowman Mega Boxes ready to roll here. Um, we have, we're waiting for two people to pay. We have a few teams. Um, we'll give them, you know, one, two minutes here. We're already a little bit past the time trying to give them a little more time to pay here, but uh, we'll be with you shortly. I mean, we're with you, but we'll be breaking here shortly. Where's everybody from? Dublin, Georgia, Thomas. Welcome. Sweet. Hey, hey, Thomas. Georgia, sweet. We're from the great Northwest. We're up here in the state of Washington, which is kind of a prison right now because of the COVID, but um, we're happy to be here. And that's one of the reasons why we love doing this is to meet some friends from other places and kind of get away from all the COVID drama. How are you guys doing there in Georgia, uh, Georgia with the COVID? Are you starting to get back to normal? New Jersey. All right, Bob. Glad to have you, man. Thanks for your bids and uh, tuning in. We're excited to break this stuff. It's great. Hopefully we can pull some real nice stuff today. What teams do you guys have just off the off the bat here? We have it, but I'm just curious and, and maybe why too. Like, what Are you fans? Are you looking for somebody? Are you trying to make a set? New York. Greg, welcome. Hey, Greg. Always appreciate you guys chiming in. It's fun to get to know the people that are on watching with us. So thank you guys. Yeah, the interaction is awesome. Braves, Rays, and Astros for Thomas. All right, Thomas. Yeah, oh, those are the good ones. Numbers are climbing everywhere. People are finally getting tired of being locked in their houses and they're going to be out and around each other. And it's just the way that... And this is going to go, I think. Yankees, yeah, Greg. Good luck, brother. Yep, looking for that. <laughs> yeah. Looking for the big dog. Yep, yep. We're hoping for it, man. Uh, it's always fun. We're going we're gonna to go hunting here in a minute. Um, guys, we have four teams that haven't been paid for yet. And if they don't pay here in the next minute or so, we're going to go ahead and move on without them. If anyone is interested in buying the Marlins, the Brewers, the Padres, or the Angels, uh, we'd be happy to, um, you know, uh, sell those. Um, if not, we'll keep them. Um, we're good either way, but if anyone wants a shot at them, um, the Angels went for 28. Uh, make, a, make an offer on any of this. I'm just going to tell you what the closing bid was on, on them. Um, the Marlins were 2150 Uh the Brewers were eighteen fifty, and the Padres were twenty eight ninety nine. So, if you want to make an offer on any of those teams, feel free. Angels, Greg, um, sure. Let's, let's just get rid of these. Maybe I can. I don't know. It's easier for you. I'm working on it. All right. Anyone want to up Greg on the Angels at 15? Angels at 15. We'll do Angels first here. Angels for 30. All right, David. Anyone want to want to take David out on uh, Angels for 30? Okay, Marlins for 10. Anyone want to go on Angels for 30 or Marlins for 10? Any interest in the Brewers or the Padres?
All right, Angels, David, you get the Angels for 30. Anyone uh, want to make a bid on the Marlins for more than 10? Or the Padres or the Brewers? All right, Bob, what do you want to do on the Padres, buddy? Padres at 15. Anyone want to go? Okay, Brewers 10. Padres 40. All right. We're... How about the Brewers? Brewers at 10. I think the Marlins are still at 10 as well, it looks like. Padres. Okay, okay, so Bob wanted the Padres at 20. Anyone want to get back in the Padres at 20? Greg, did you want to get back in there or are you good? It's okay, Bob. I get it. All right, so it looks like it looks like that's good. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and, and close it. Then we've got I hear it, Greg. I hear you, man. We're just trying to get going here. All right. So uh, the pay the PayPal uh, address is. Uh, it looks like are in there um, let's get going uh, we'll get going here we'll just uh, if we don't get those payments before the end of the break then we'll just keep the cards it's, it's, it's no big deal um, that's fine all right boys let's get going here there are 10 10 boxes here we're gonna move a little back here out of the crossfire so that I can get to work I uh, hope you're all having a good day start this weekend off most of you guys are on the West Coast, so probably done with work today. I mean the East Coast, I'm sorry. So let's we'll get to ripping. Uh, typically how we do this is we uh, leave the, uh, the mojos for the end. If you guys don't want to do that, that's totally fine. It's, it's not up to us. It's you guys' break, so. <clears throat> Hey guys, sorry I was absent there for a minute. <laughs> eBay has kind of changed its structure here, and I was trying to figure out how to cancel those orders so that we could sell those teams, but we got that all set up. I appreciate you guys bearing with us, and we're excited to get this thing going too. Yeah, let's get some, let's, let's find some monsters in here. There are monsters for sure, um, and it's a lot of fun. The mega boxes are certainly drying up, it's almost impossible to find them. Um, I sure hope we hit some good big stuff here. Cody Bellinger action. Yeah, even our distributor said that he's not thinking he's going to get any more. So we're glad to have some stock so that we can continue doing this for a little while. But sad to see it come to an end because we love this product. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, man. The, the mega packs are just ridiculous. And there's so many good young players too. It seems like we're kind of in a, we're entering a, one of those hot hot spells of years where we're going to find a generation, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, of um, some exciting young players. Hopefully they turn out. I mean, you just never know, but there's one that we're hoping works out well. Uh, yeah. Mr. I, Lewis Robert. Nice to see, you know, you have the guys like him and Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette with the rookie card badge, and then, you know, guys like Dominguez and Pawson and Adele and... And those guys with the first Bowman cards, so it's a yeah. exciting set. And then there's, you know, oh, I opened one of the, <laughs> I opened the Mega Pack because I got to, into the conversation there. So I guess this is an exciting one. Um, so we got Casey Mize, Luis Garcia, 
Dylan Cease, Grant Levine, and Aramis Aidman. We'll, we'll save the rest. I, I've done that a couple times now. I just get into the conversation and lose track of what I'm doing a little bit. Yeah, definitely good luck, everybody. We're, we're hoping to find some monsters in here. can find some some good stuff in the paper and the chromes here too that Gerard uh, Gerard and Carnacion is they're thinking is going to be a good young player it's got a little bit of value already Mr. Aaron Judge hoping for a healthy season even if it is only 60 games it would be nice to see him there's Wander that's a nice one I really like like that kid, obviously, he's the number one prospect overall, so I'm not the only one, but. Duran, clinic. Duran, Duran. Duran, Duran. All cards ship, guys. Um, if you haven't been with us before, uh, we do ship all cards. We'll try and get them out. Um, no later than the first part of next week. Uh, if if we if and when we do hit a monster tonight, if you want um, any special shipping um, arrangements made, let us know. Um, there may be an additional cost. Like if you like, let's just say for example, you hit a Jordan autograph, or I mean, um, excuse me. Uh, well, it could be Jordan autograph uh, or a Dominguez autograph or a Wit autograph or something colored and numbered, and you wanted to get it overnighted and sent over. Um, you know, to get graded immediately because, you know, you never know how the market's going to handle it. We can make arrangements to get that handled. We just need to communicate about it. So let us know if that happens, which we're hoping for. And so far opening this stuff, we've had some good fortune with color variations and autographs. And so we're hoping that continues with these 10 boxes here. Any of you guys uh, trying to hoard any of these prospects? Oh, there's a paper one. There you go. There we go. There we go, baby. I don't know where the wander. Let's get those things up. Craig, those are your first Dominguez. We're hoping for many for, more for you. First of the many today, I hope. But it's nice to get it off the off the off the skunk early, right? Kind of like fishing. <laughs> it's good to get him the first one quickly. Um, get that thing in there and give you another picture of it. It's a nice one. Good for you, Greg. Have any of you guys hit anything big on any breaks recently or opening cards for yourself or you like most of us and can't find cards? <laughs> can't find anything to open. Our Walmarts and Targets here literally the day after they stock, like if you're lucky enough to show up the day that they stock, early enough in the day that they stock, you can get your hands on something, but by the end of the next day, there's literally zero yeah. cards left like you can't even i mean you can sometimes find some opening day or even every once in a while if you're lucky some heritage but like really there isn't a lot there's a volpe he's supposed to be good for the yankees too there greg so that's good yeah thomas said his walmarts are horrible yeah i mean oh, it's man. just david hit a bobby witt jr purple auto yesterday oh <laughs> that's fire good for you man congratulations that's fa that's fantastic with some luck we'll hit something like that today i think uh you know if you're gonna do it i mean i think this is if you've got especially if you got one player or something in mind like team breaks are the way to go man you get 
a bunch of chances without having to buy all of the all the product, which you can't even find anyways, even if you wanted to. <laughs> it's a great way to to prospect hunt for certain people you want to invest in or whatever. It's a fantastic idea. Oh, there's speaking of the devil. Yeah, there he is. There's a paper one. Respect those. Mr. Witt. It's interesting if you follow the graded card market, how the paper, like PSA 10s, do really well. They do very well, and I think it's just because of the card stock. Um, it's just really hard to, not to um, touch them, really. I mean, they just, they're pretty fragile compared to the others. It's a nice card. Good, good, good for you. Uh, let's keep moving here. See what we can do. Bomb, Casas. Thomas said he pulled an Alvarez yellow from an Amazon box on Monday. Oh, nice. Those are numbered, right? But aren't they like 100 or something? AJ Puck, Horner. Like Ooh, many there's, people. There's Laura. Yeah. That's who the Rangers are looking for. That's a good one. Like many people, Tucker and I are both very high on Jordan Alvarez after seeing what he did in a half of a season. He has 27 home runs, and he's still considered a rookie this year. <laughs> that doesn't happen too often, <laughs> if ever. Yeah. yeah, Thomas said he thinks it's out of 75. That's a, that's, neat, a cool card. That's really, really awesome, man. That's that's cool. I I love I love Jordan. I know Ed does too. We, uh, we have a fair amount. <laughs> We've got a fair amount of those, yeah. <laughs> but not the not the one you have. I don't have any of those, so that's good. <laughs> oh, there's another Laura paper. That's awesome. So the Rangers are off to a good start too, which is nice. Lazardo. Guy throws some heat from the left side. Yeah, never a bad thing. Those left-handed pitchers that have solid fastballs and good secondary stuff. He's a he's a really good prospect. And, course he has to be in our division where we'll see him a thousand times and he'll get us out every single time but we're used to that <laughs> it's seattle <laughs> really if you're mediocre you can get seattle out pretty easy. <laughs> yeah you just really if you can throw some strikes you're fine B they should just use their bp coach so they don't have to they can get their rotation some rest against the mariners <laughs> there's a bow Bo Bichette, paper rookie. Another very Wisconsin. young, promising rookie at over 300 and a short season. A short season last season. Justin May. Supposed to be a good one as well for the Dodgers. Young pitcher. All right, here we go. Next box. Well, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. We appreciate you. We appreciate you chatting. We really have enjoyed this. We started it because of COVID and have continued it as COVID continues. But we've had so much fun. We'd just like to... <laughs> Greg, you, you guys can keep Mr. Cano. We're happy to be rid of him <laughs> and appreciate all the prospects. Yeah, we appreciate all of our best farm system players. That's got to be a tough pill to swallow for New York Met fans, man. That's that was a terrible trade, and it's just turning out to be. I mean, he's still Cano's still a good player, but man, I'll tell you what, giving up three guys that we feel like are probably there's an apostle. The Rangers have some guys that could be good, um, but yeah, that's we have. I mean, they're li literally. I think our two best prospects came in that trade, <laughs> so. Eh. Then not to mention what you're having to pay him on a yearly basis. Yeah, I mean, we ate up some of it, but we ate all of that up the last two years, so we're we're completely out from under him, and now we get all these young guys, and I think I think Kalenic's going to be in the big leagues this year at some point, and Julio is not going to be far behind him, so we're feeling pretty good about all that. And they're not going to they're not going to get paid for a while. Yeah. And it's <laughs> Not like the Mariners have been contenders recently. Oh, there's a Jacob Amaya, Sam Huff, two of the Rangers, Taylor Trammell. There's Julio. Speak of the devil. Yeah. Love that kid. 
Is he 19 years old? He's still 19 years old, I believe. And if unless he had a birthday in the last two weeks or something, um, he's just a puppy, I can tell you. Yeah, 12, 29. So he's, yeah, he won't be 20 until the end of December. That's... He's 2000 birthday. So, yeah, he's a puppy. Just barely turned 19. Not 17 right? like Dominguez, but... <laughs> right. Yeah, Dominguez. There's a rutch, man. Tyler Freeman, Nate Pearson, both pretty high prospects in their own respects, those two guys. We'll see how it goes. Tucker got to play some baseball with uh, Adley Rutschman's dad. Wasn't he your coach? He was a he was a player coach. I played for a Nike team um, in Portland area, Portland, Oregon, and uh, his dad was a coach at um, Linfield or something. Um, but he was our he basically was a bullpen catcher because he was his dad was a catcher also. And he just was a coach, and he he'd catch him, hit every once in a while, but um, mostly he was just there to coach. And there's another Frank O. Chrome, that's nice. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I when I knew Adley, he was walking around. He he was a toddler, and he would walk around with a full size catcher's glove and a catcher's helmet on, and he could barely walk. But he's a great kid. Um, I really hope he does well. Orioles fans do too. Yeah, no, you're good. You can keep Cano, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm comfortable saying that you can keep him. He's still good. There's Clinic right there. Speak of the devil. Another one of those prospects that we're excited about. Yeah, well, he's our right now. He's our top rated one. Even though I think Julio probably has a higher, a little bit higher top side. Although they say Clinic's one of the best athletes they've ever seen. I heard an interview with him. I guess he can jump and stuff too. Like they were dinking around with a basketball and a basketball hoop, and he was just throwing down mad dunks. I guess. And so, if you guys haven't seen much of this product, there's another um, Luis Robert. There's another Amaya too. Um, if you guys haven't seen much of this product. These these base packs they have only ten cards in them instead of the regular I think I believe there's thirteen or fourteen cards in the regular packs and um, they also don't have they're guaranteed to not have any color or autographs or anything like that so if you're wondering why we haven't seen anything yet it's because there's no chance of seeing it <laughs> yeah, they're, um, they're hiding in those mega packs yeah we're waiting for we want to wait for those anyways because those are the ones that are worth a bunch of money anyways. So box number seven here, if you're if you're not keeping track, I haven't done a great job of calling out which box number we're on. So this is number seven, and we're just going through the base packs right now. We did open the one, the one mega pack by accident because I was chatting. Um, but we still have we will have 19 of the mojo packs um, when it's all said and done. These ones don't want to come out very easily, so there we go. Thank, thanks for the message, David. We'll take a look at the the eBay message when we are finished with the break here. But yeah, just... thanks for the heads up, man. Appreciate it. Madrigal. Oh, Jean Diaz. He's he's the one that the Rays are real high on too. And he's a first Bowman, so that's that card's got some value already too. So that's that's the cool thing about this man is you can look at these every single year and just go back and be like, oh, <laughs> it's like opening new packs because as these guys get a little bit older, I mean, so many of these guys are just little kids, like pretty much literally, um, in these prospect and first Bowman cards. I mean, they're like some of them if they're from like in the international pool or like Dominguez, like 16, 17 years old. And they have baseball cards, and they won't see the big leagues until, you know, 2022, 20, 2023 at the earliest. So it's pretty fun to go back and look. I mean, there's Evan White, too, another prospect. The Mariners are, well, he, he's going to he's gonna play first base for him on opening day, I believe. Um, so another guy that we're looking forward to seeing if he's as good as advertised. Logan Davidson, Brian Hayes is a high prospect for the uh, Pirates as well. All right, box eight, incoming.
Yastrzemski. It's just mostly it's just fun to say. Although he did have a pretty good year last year. A little bit under the radar on that Giants team that wasn't very good last year. Vargas versus Bowman, Mike Trout. Got to load Mike Trout's. Stack them up. Collins, Gratterall, Moron. John Diaz, Paper. Joey Bart. Julio. Yay. Julio. Nineteen and a prospect, and still doesn't say first Bowman. <laughs> no, I know it's crazy, man. Some of these guys. I mean, Wander's not old either. I want to say he's like maybe twenty, and he's had cards for I think two or three years already. Yeah, Thomas, are you looking for some Acuna's, or are you looking for the Acuna's to be? <laughs> yeah, those are the real exciting ones. But nine. Athletically, Robert seems like the closest Acuna-type player, or Robert, or however you say it, um, looks like the most comparable athlete to Acuna in terms of power and speed and ability to steal bases, but you never know, man. Some of these guys are super talented, these kids that are coming up. Yeah, and with, like, 17-year-old kids. Joe Adele. Just how much growing and muscle building do you have left to go? It's like it's, some guys will develop a tremendous amount between 17 and 22, and you have no idea. You have a totally different guy than what you initially looked well, at. Well, a perfect example is, is if you go back and look at um, look at Acuna's first Bowman cards, or you know, and and he is like so skinny and looks so undeveloped. He looks like a little kid. And he looks like a grown man now. I mean, it just took him a minute, but man, he's he's a freak. Another Julio, another Luis Robert. Speak of the devil. Yeah, if you, future Acunas or current Acunas are all good. Yeah, <laughs> you can't really mess up if they have anything to if they can be comparable to that guy. He sure is a special player. That was another class of rookies that solid dude. Yeah, Xavier Edwards is supposed to be a big prospect, too. I don't know much about him yet, though. Soto and Torres and Acuna. Yeah, it's crazy. And Shohei Otani, I think, is next. And then it. Meadows. Yeah. Same deal. It's a, a ridiculous class, too. That 18 group was pretty special. Cardenas, first Bowman. Mackenzie Gore is supposed to be in the big leagues this year as well for the Padres. Usually we ask earlier, but uh, and usually people say something if things aren't working out well, but uh, hopefully the video feed is smooth and the sound is adequate. If you guys have any problems, don't hesitate to let us know. We're always happy to troubleshoot and try and fix things. But All right, last box here, and then we can get to the mojos. And those mojo packs are sure a lot of fun. Oh, they're, it's up. just... It's just so fun. They're they're just so there's so much. I mean, you could literally get a four to ten thousand dollar card in there. It's crazy. It is really amazing. If it great, I mean, obviously it would be need to be graded, but and it's just insane the the, the things that you could get in there. All right, two more, and then we'll hit the mojos. Hit the good stuff. Yeah, this stuff, you know, it's no wonder that it's so hard to find because it's so much fun to open. And yeah. All the value that you can get out of there. Maya, again. Yeah, just the potential of what you could hit is enough, but then the fact that there's not just like one or two guys, there's a handful of guys that 
could could really um, work out for you. I mean, my buddy hit a Jordan Alvarez rookie to your favorite Mojo Refractor numbered out of 99. That's no slouch of a card. <laughs> it's no. got the rookie patch on it. I mean, it's legit. There's Duran, first Bowman. Uh, Anna Chrome. That's interesting. It's cool how that happens sometimes. It's really cool when it's the right guy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, guys, are we ready for the the golden nuggets here? Let's let's get after it. So we got 19 packs of these. I'll show you the first one if you weren't here. Um, that I opened by accident, but it's Luis Garcia, Casey Mize, Cease, Levine, and Aidman. And if, if uh, Cease pitches and the guys that they have in their lineup hit the way that they have either historically or the way that they're projected to, the White Sox will be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I, uh, I would be nervous if I was in the White Sox division for years to come, really. They added some veterans, but they have some guys that are coming up, man. Floreal Casas Lizardo, um, uh, Spanning the Globe or whatever that's called. I think that's what it's called. Um, Belazovic, first Bowman. And Gus Marlin, first Bowman. So lots of first Bowmans there. That's good. It's usually a good indication of how a product is based on either if it's available or not available or if last year's version of it is available. Usually you can find stuff on eBay from last year for almost everything, but these with the Mojo Packs. You, know, you cannot just... find any mega boxes of last year or any year, really. Um, I actually looked because I thought it would be fun to try to do a break, but... You just can't find any. Like, there's not even one. I can't even find one. Forrest Whitley, Pena, um, Yamamoto. Ooh, Profar go. and Rutschman back to back. There we go. I mean, Pawson. I don't know why I said Profar. Um, probably because he was a big prospect for the A's that played the same position a while back. But anyway, so uh, Pawson and Rutschman back to back. Interestingly, of note, the. Dominguez and Witt go back to back in this as well. So if we see one of those guys on the back, there's a good chance we'll have the other. I can't remember who's on the very back. I think it's Dominguez. Um, and then I think Witt's in front of him, but um, I don't remember. Hopefully we find out at least once, maybe two or three times. Yeah. <laughs> Could be fine with me. Robert Pawson. Exciting young player for the A's there. And Stradley Rutschman. Number one pick of 2019 draft. Mojo Refractors. All right. Solid pack there. Let's keep the momentum rolling. And there's Dominguez on the back. Beautiful. So my guess is that we're going to see a wit as well in front of it, but we'll see. There's Vargas, Dustin May, Rook of the Year favorite, and Bobby Witt Jr. So back-to-back -back huge packs. <laughs> yeah, let's prospects and both first Bowman's which is solid what we're looking for for sure so Rutschman must have a 19 Bowman draft card he has he does he has a draft picks and prospects one because he was the first overall pick so he does nice which looking with there yeah real nice and the Dominguez is real nice too um, Congratulations, guys! Yeah, that's that's fantastic. I'm I'm happy. That's we want to see as much of that kind of stuff as we can. I know that those teams draw a premium, and we want to see you guys get some hits. So congrats on that. Yeah, Greg, Greg, we want to see some ink and some color too. Oh, absolutely! But it's nice to get some of those, anyways. Oh, there's speaking of color, there's a purple. There's yes. a John Diaz, too. And Tucker will deliver. <laughs> Oscar Gonzalez, first Bowman, and Jordan Adams. What do we got? Libertor out of 250. 102 out of 250. Matthew Libertor for the Rays. Mojo Refractor. Sweet. Next. Nate Pearson. Ooh, there's Wander. Luis Garcia, Cruz Dar Glatterall, Cabrian Hayes, and Nate Pearson. 
Well, we're getting we're getting some good players, and we we're just bound to get some color here. We're ready to get some color autographs. with the good players with an autograph. <laughs> throw some ink on there, like Greg asked for. Yeah, that's what we're always looking for. Oh, gold! Oh, baby! Oh, let's see. Who can you imagine, be. Damon Jones? Those are out of 50? I believe they're out of 50. Or 10, 10 maybe even. I, I can't remember. Taylor Trammell out of 50. 47 out of 50. Woo! No relation to Alan Trammell, in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> True. Taylor Trammell out of 50. 47 out of 50. Nice one. I'm not going to jinx it, I hope, but so far there's been some really good, they look like they're cut pretty good. Some of these, it seems like you can get a run of some of these uh, mojos that are a little bit off center. Um, so it's it's good to see that so far it's looked pretty sharp. Royce Lewis, big prospect also. Alzale, Spanning Vogue, Julio, and Lodolo. That one's a little bit top to bottom, but left to right, it's real nice. Good one. All right. I was looking at your friend's card that he got back from BGS. He got a 9.5 on his refractor, and I was surprised at how top to bottom cutting that was and it's still got a great grade. Agreed. It, the the, the subgrade on that um, was a nine on the centering, but he was fortunate to get a 10 and two nine and a halfs on the corners and surface and edges. Um, so he was able to pull it off. Xavier Edwards is, is one other interesting one that people have high hopes for. Yamamoto, Cabello, and Aaron Ashby. Amaya. There's Volpe. It's a good one. Another Yankees yeah. first Bowman card. Yeah, he's they're pretty hopeful about him. <laughs> ink me, ink me. I know, I know. Yeah, man, we're waiting. Know. We're hoping for it. We're trying, we're trying. Matt Manning. Justin Dunn. There's a Luis. Prospect CAD, which I guess is the only kind that could be in here, since these are the, the prospect set. It's a good solid card there. Guy's a absolute purebred. Okay, we got a purple something here, boys. Jarski and Blazovich. Boom. Uh, Cantillo. Joey Cantillo. Padres. 228 out of 250. First Bowman. And oh, he's nice. a cheater. He's a left handed thrower. Thank you, Tucker. <laughs> yeah, guilty as charged <laughs> on the left handed throwing. <laughs> Joey Cantillo. 250 and out of 250 excuse me 228 out of 250 cool let's get some more color some more a little bit of ink here let's get moving on that part a lot of ink would be fine oh blue Ooh, light yeah. blue that's i don't know what that might be there's a sky blue i think that's numbered even lower than the regular blue maybe spanning the globe it's out of 150, so it is just blue, but man, it looks lighter. On those subset cards, it always is tricky, too, because they seem to show up a little bit different with the color on the... Isaac Paredes out of 150. 89 out of 150. Let's 
see a, as you look close there, there's a couple of chips in the blue, it looks like. Yeah, it definitely looks a little different. I'm not sure if that's a printing yeah. mark or what. Or maybe that's just the way that it refracts the light too, but. Yeah, it's hard to say. Paredes for the Tigers out of 150. Abrams, another top prospect. Early pick last year. There's a regular Paredes spanning the globe. Jazz Chisholm and Taylor Trammell. All right, come on, baby. Auto, color, both, something. Bad luck. I see that our dealer number Lux. has gone up. So if you're waiting for the mosaic basketball break, we'll be switching feeds over to that just to keep things organized. But um, as soon as we're done with this break, we'll switch over there and, and pick up where we left off. Gavin Lux, Mojo, rookie of the year favorite there for the Dodges. Had a heck of the a heck of a year in the minors last year. I think he hit three forty seven with some pop. Yeah, he's they're real high on him. He's supposedly their depth chart says he's gonna start at second base this year, so there's Rutschman again, so I'm guessing that in front of him is probably Powson again. There's a blue in here also. Mm, be nice if the blue was a Powson. Right? Or there's there it bad. is. There's the combo again. Who's the blue baby? Wit! Yes. 150. Woo! Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Ow! That thing is pretty dang centered too, man. That is a nice card. Man, that, having that blue with him being a royal, I think it sets it off even more. Sweet card, man. That is definitely very gradable. We're down to three unopened packs after this one, Greg. That card is fire, fire, fire. Brian will be very happy with that one. Look That's at that. very nice. Ooh. Centering is beautiful. 53 out of 150. <laughs> yes. That was quite a pack. Yeah, yeah, it seems like that's kind of the way it goes. It seems like they're just, it seems to stack on each other. It's pretty awesome. Well, I'm sure Tucker doesn't want to make anybody mad, but he got a pack uh, for himself on a, a rip and ship through Facebook. Yeah, one of my friend's groups. <laughs> had uh, Dominguez Mojo. It had, uh, of course, the Witt Jr. Mo uh, mojo and then a Dominguez Blue Auto. Yeah, I did hit that. Blue Auto Dominguez in the same pack as a regular Dominguez and Witt. That was quite the pack. Probably the best pack of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and it just so happened that my Dominguez is probably the best centered one I've seen on any of the comps on eBay. So it will be... Shipping out to BGS. Maybe this afternoon, maybe tomorrow, depending on when I get a chance. But I'm going to get that puppy taken care of. There's Andrew Vaughn. I'm high on him. Cardenas Lazardo. Another, Another White Sox. Volpe. Yeah. Respect. Embarrassment of riches. Yeah, they, they got some dudes coming up. All right, last pack, man. We need some magic. Oh, there, there's a blue auto in there. I saw the blue shimmer and there's a backwards card. So there is a blue autograph in here, guys. All right, guys. Rub your hands together. <laughs> Derek Scoobal, Joe, Brian Hayes, Pearson. Last pack, magic. Oh, it's not blue. I thought it was, but it's still. It's Gerard and Carnacion. So whoever bought Miami at the last minute there made a really nice solid purchase cool card <laughs> yes greg Is that... imagine that there's uh 29 guys that agree that that's the wrong guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that is the wrong guy greg
Well, we hope you guys had a good time. We'll do a quick rundown of some of the good stuff we got here. If you enjoyed the video and... Oh, sorry guys, I bumped the camera, my bad. Think you'd like to come back, then we'd love to have some more subscribers. We're trying to build this thing and make it bigger than it is. Yeah, we'd sure appreciate the subscribe button and the like on the video too. Maybe it can get some more views and get some other subscribers from um, other channels that might be of interest. But um, we'd sure appreciate it if you had a good time. We sure did. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Um, if you're here for the basketball break, we'll be right back here in a few minutes. I believe it's due to start at 3.30. Um, it is 3.18 right now, so or our time. I guess it's 6.18 on the East Coast. Um, so we'll just run through some of these hits real quick. We got uh, the Gerard Encarnacion autograph, which was sweet. Rutschman, Powson, Wit Blue, big card, Gavin Lux, uh, Paredes out of 150. It looks like there's some printing issues or something. It might be the light reflection, but it looks a little weird. Um, Joey Cantillo or Tillo, um, 228 out of 250, purple. Robert, uh, Taylor Trammell out of a 50, nice card there. Wander Franco, Dominguez, and Wit, uh, Mojos. Another uh, combination of the uh, Rutschman and Powson. Um, out of some of the regular stuff, we had a paper Dominguez. Uh, we had a paper Wit. A couple Loras, one um, Chrome and, and one Base. Um, we also had, I, don't, I didn't get this into a hard, this uh, Matthew Libertor out of uh, 250 purple uh, mojo. It's nice. And then uh, we can just do a couple more here. Hey, Bob, thanks for checking uh, the mosaic. Went crazy. We just had five blaster boxes, but if there's anything harder to find than Bowman, it's mosaic basketball right now. And yeah, everybody for sure. paid almost immediately after the auction, but we do definitely appreciate you checking and you're more than welcome to check it out. See if we get anything. Yeah. Crazy. You're yeah. Hang out, man. Or, I mean, well, I guess it'll end up being come back, but um, yeah, feel free to check out all our videos, man. Come, come back and watch whenever you see us live, whatever it is, um, subscribe so you can see what's going on and come check us out. Uh, visit us on eBay. We'll, we always have new stuff coming up and coming out. Um, but we sure appreciate you guys and hope you will hit the subscribe button and like the video and try to get some more views on that too. So we might get some, some other people from outside the circle here, but, um, that's pretty much it. If you want to see anything else, let us know. We sure appreciate you and we'll get these things in the mail as soon as we can. Thanks guys.